some moringa tea so I'm going to do two teas right one I'm going to pick some fresh moringa off my tree we will make some tea with that and I will also make some tea with some moringa that I picked and dried so we're going to make two types of tea and I'm going to share some health benefits with moringa for it with you so let's go out into the garden and pick some fresh moringa and let's get started with our moringa tea and all the wonderful health benefits of Moringa. Let's go. All right, so let's go into the leaf that we're going to pick. All right, so for instance, you want to use the more mature leaves for uh, cooking but that's what I would do I don't use it to make tea right so like these like this right that is the more mature leaves what I will use to make my tea is the younger leaves which are these on top here right so that is what we're going to pick this morning to make our moringa tea let's go So let me just show you the dry version. This is what I picked and placed to dry. And this is what we just picked. I'm going to boil this and that other one I'm going to less than a draw. So let's get cracking. the dry moringa first it's just 15 minutes later so let's train the dry moringa first and then we will do the other one let's go Let's move on to the fresh moringa that we picked, giving it a proper wash because I mean it's outside there and the elements, all kind of dust and I have dogs so we don't want anything on it. And I just give it um, like a cup and a half of water and let that boil properly and let it draw as much as it possibly can. I let it rest for 15 minutes and then pour it out to drink. Alright, so... Clearly you see which one of the both tea you would get the stronger intense moringa flavor from and that would be the dry moringa. What I would do with the one that I boil most times, I would use that to make uh, juice or I would also use it to make um, just to put it in the fridge to drink as water basically so it would be cool and I would have that to drink all day long but I would, for tea purposes really I would mostly use the dry version and all I simply do to dry my moringa was just place them out in the sun to dry for two days actually some good 
sun for the past two days and it dry and that was basically it and then I place them in a seed container and whenever I need some I take some and draw it and have a nice cup of tea now you can put some milk in this but I don't I don't use milk I don't use sugar so I in my tea that is so I won't use any of that I will just drink it like that but you can use some agave or some honey and just give it a light little, little taste brackish a little bit as your people would say so that's how easy you can enjoy your moringa and as I said uh, you could cook your moringa with the more mature leaves I have a video I would link that in the description so you can check that out so yes ladies and gentlemen that is how easy you could enjoy your moringa now let's get into the health benefits of consuming moringa now you could if you don't have uh, a moringa tree you could buy them in the pharmacies the health food stores you know you could buy the they have the tablets they have the powders but again there is nothing like your own you know so if you could get a moringa plant put it get try and get one and grow your own moringa you could cook it you could make tea with it you could put it in your baking so much things you can do with it i like to also add my dry moringa to my smoothies now also the boiled one i would i could use that and make ice with it and use that to make my smoothie so you see there's many different ways i could use the boiled one even the uh, the dry one that i had there i could do the same with with it so you know you, you could use them different ways you can use them to get the best benefit out of your moringa all right so let's get into some of the health benefits of the moringa plant one it's very nutritious two it's rich in antioxidants it helps also three it helps lower blood sugar it may also help for with cholesterol so there is a lot of health benefits and you would see in the next clip all what I just mentioned but I'm going to just show you in the next clip all of the health benefits and the nutrition factor of Moringa so I do hope you enjoyed watching this healthy an easy way to prepare a tea that will benefit you all around and I do hope you get your hand on if you can't get the actual plant itself but you can get the powder you can get the capsule you could put the powder in your baking in your smoothies and as I mentioned you could also if you're boiling if you have the leaf and you're boiling it you don't have to drink it as an actual tea you could also drink it as water or make ice with it and use that to make your smoothie so because that's what i would do i would boil it the one the moringa i would boil i would put it to make ice so when i'm ready to make my smoothie i would use the ice that ice to make my smoothie so and soon my office space video will be coming up. Stay tuned for that video.
always going to take care of the temple that you have been blessed upon this earth with. So thanks for watching another episode of Kenneth's Corner. I'll look out for Wednesday coming for another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Have a blessed one, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. <music>